Wi-Fi service. Okay, so get system service. Get system service context to dot context to dot Wi-Fi underscore service. Get system service context dot Wi-Fi underscore service method method is used to get method is used to get the built-in Wi-Fi service into activity method is used to get what method is used to get the built-in Wi-Fi service into what into activity and application framework application framework is providing a class called application framework is providing a class called class called Wi-Fi manager Wi-Fi manager to manage Wi-Fi service get system service context dot Wi-Fi underscore service this method is used to get what the built-in Wi-Fi service into the activity application framework is providing a class called Wi-Fi manager is a class to manage Wi-Fi service to manage Wi-Fi service so let's create the object for Wi-Fi manager Wi-Fi manager is equals to Wi-Fi manager of get system service get system service context to dot Wi-Fi manager is equals to Wi-Fi manager of get system service get system service context to dot Wi-Fi underscore service context to dot Wi-Fi underscore service context dot Wi-Fi underscore service to get the to get the built-in Wi-Fi service into activity to manage that we are having a class called what Wi-Fi manager is the class okay next so by using this statement by using this statement you can get the Wi-Fi service you can get into our activity class you can get and you can check whether user is enable the Wi-Fi or not if he is not enable programmatically we can enable that Wi-Fi we can enable programmatically okay so if you want to get that Wi-Fi state if you want to get if you want to get the Wi-Fi state if you want to get Wi-Fi manager dot there is a method called Wi-Fi manager dot there is a method called get Wi-Fi manager dot there is a method called get Wi-Fi state is a method get Wi-Fi state is a method so by using this method we can get the Wi-Fi state we can get like Wi-Fi is enabled or not Wi-Fi is disabled that Wi-Fi state we can get by using this Wi-Fi manager dot get Wi-Fi state method so return type of this method is nothing but it's an integer integer return integer return type of this method okay so either it may be for example if it is 0 0 means it's in a disabled state 0 means it's in a disabled state. Return type of this Wi-Fi manager dot get Wi-Fi state method is nothing but int is a return type. Int is the return type. So 0 means it's in a disabled state. 1 means it is in a disabling state. 1 is what? 1 is it's a disabling state. 2 means in an enabled state. Two, 2 is, sorry, 2 is an enabling state. Uh, I mean if it is enabling now so now the state is what so 2 is the enabling state and 3 is what 3 is it's already enabled if it is already enabled then we'll get 3 we'll get so Wi-Fi manager dot get Wi-Fi state return type is nothing but int is a return type okay next if you want to change the Wi-Fi state if you want to change if you want to change the Wi-Fi state if you want to change Wi-Fi manager dot there is a method called set Wi-Fi enable is a method set Wi-Fi enable is a method we have to pass a boolean type we have to pass method is used to change the method is used to change method is used to change the Wi-Fi state like if you want to enable the Bluetooth just specify Wi-Fi manager dot set Wi-Fi enabled of true if you want to disable it set Wi-Fi manager dot set Wi-Fi enable of false method is used to change the Wi-Fi state and if you want to get the list of available Wi-Fi devices if you want to get 
Wi-Fi manager dot there is a method called get scan results is a method get scan results method method is used to get the list of available method is used to get the list of available Wi-Fi devices Wi-Fi manager dot get scan results method is used to get the list of available Wi-Fi devices method is used to get the list of available Wi-Fi devices so return type of this method is nothing but return type of this method is nothing but list of because you'll get multiple values you'll get return type of this method is nothing but list of Wi-Fi scan result you get multiple values you'll get that's a return type is what list list of Wi-Fi scan result uh, I guess Wi-Fi is not there just only scan result list of scan result results is equals to yeah. Wi-Fi manager dot there is a method called get scan results is a method get scan results is a method to get the list of available Wi-Fi devices and we don't know whether how many values are there it may contains 10 values or maybe I mean 10 Wi-Fi devices or 20 Wi-Fi devices we don't know how many devices are available that's why what we'll do is we'll put it we'll put that logic in a loop we'll, we'll put we are having a, a concept called for each loop okay? meaning get the get the individual scan result object from results for scan result get the individual scan result object from what results so now how, how many how many how many results we found so that many times this loop will be what repeat how many results we found that many times this loop will be what repeat so we'll display that values will display in a toast message will display like toast dot make text is a method first parameter we have to specify the context now second parameter if you want to if you want to get the Wi-Fi name if you want to get there is a method called SSID SSID is on constant is that if you if you call this SSID constant if you call you will get the device name you will get you'll get the device name you will get so and now if you want to get the signal strength for example here if you see here if you, if you see the Wi-Fi signal if you see you can find the signal strength see for example this D-Link DB4 is having the full signal strength apps guru is having only three points meaning how they are how they are showing this uh, signal strength how they are showing based on the frequency based on what the frequency result dot ssid and result dot result dot there is a constant called frequency is a constant so you'll get the signal strength you'll get for the particular wi-fi device so like like this there are few other properties are there and finally finally last thing is the last thing is what duration dot show is the method So what are the device, how many devices are available, Wi-Fi devices, you'll get that list you'll get. Just what we are doing is, we are printing that device name we are printing just by calling Wi-Fi scan result object dot SSID, you'll get the device name we'll get and its frequency we are getting. Okay. Next. So here by using this statement, by using this statement, you will get the list of available Wi-Fi devices. By using this statement, you will get the list of available Wi-Fi devices list you will get but you will not get the information like to which device your phone is connected now you will not get the information like to which phone you are your I mean to which Wi-Fi device to which Wi-Fi device your phone is connected now if you want to get the information if you want to get right now to which device the phone is connected or what are all the available devices I mean connected devices to get that information Wi-Fi manager dot Meaning, if you click on this Wi-Fi, if you see here, see for this D-Link, it is showing this tick mark, it is showing. Why it is showing the tick mark for this D-Link? Because it should, meaning it is showing, for right now, your phone is connected to this Wi-Fi network, it is connected. So, we are getting, we are showing the information here. Showing. So, Wi-Fi manager dot, there is a method called get configured networks is a method. So Wi-Fi manager dot get configured networks is a method to get the list of so 
So Wi-Fi Manager dot get configured networks method is used to get is used to get the list of method is used to get the list of available. I mean method is used to get the list of paid Wi-Fi devices. So your phone is connected to I mean how many devices? Okay, that history is there, right? You'll get that all the all the details you'll get. Your phone is connected to which Wi-Fi network? That list you'll get here. So here, return type of this method is nothing but here also same thing. Return type of this method is nothing but list list of Wi-Fi configuration is a return type. List of Wi-Fi configuration is a return type. For example, config is equals to what is the method name? Wi-Fi manager dot get configured networks is a method. List of Wi-Fi configuration config is equals to Wi-Fi manager dot get configured networks is a method name. Wi-Fi manager dot get configured networks is a method to get the list of available to get the list of paid Wi-Fi devices. Here also same thing. So here it contains some multiple values. Multiple values means we'll create a for each group we'll create. We'll create a for each group and we'll read the values from the for each group, we'll read the values. Okay. And here SSID, you'll get the device name we'll get by using this SSID, but you cannot get the frequency you cannot get because maybe the device maybe it's available or not available. So you cannot get the frequency we cannot get, but in case of frequency, we can specify uh, status we can call meaning in this status it will tell you right now your phone is connected to this particular Wi-Fi network or not that information you can get may status you can get okay so to work with Wi-Fi because here we are we are we are accessing the Wi-Fi we are accessing as well as we are changing the Wi-Fi state here we are accessing the Wi-Fi state we are accessing as well as here we are changing the Wi-Fi state and we are getting the list of available Wi-Fi device and all so to perform all these operations, to perform these operations, so we had to add a permission we had to add in manifest.xml. So that permission is nothing but one is access Wi-Fi state is one thing. We had to add a permission we had to add in manifest.xml. One is access Wi-Fi state and another thing is change Wi-Fi state. access Wi-Fi state and change Wi-Fi state. We are accessing the Wi-Fi state we are accessing as well as we are changing the Wi-Fi state also we are changing. Okay. So this is about the Wi-Fi. This is about the Wi-Fi. Okay. So now we'll create a simple application for demonstrating this Wi-Fi. Then after that release, we'll see the Bluetooth part of this. Okay. So my requirement is I want to create a simple application I want to create. So first thing is I want to create a switch button I want to create. So in Android, we are having a component called switch button. So first I display this one, Wi-Fi. So Wi-Fi. So we'll create on switch button component will create. We'll create a switch button we create which contains two states on state and off state. So this is a switch button. Basically, user can user can update this, uh, user can change the position, user can change either to on state or off state. When user select the on button, we have to switch on the Wi-Fi. If user select the off button, we have to switch off the Wi-Fi. And so I want to create two buttons. I want to create one is to get the list of available Wi-Fi devices and its paid Wi-Fi devices. So here, let's create a button called Get Wi-Fi Devices. So how many Wi-Fi devices are available? I want to get all the list of Wi-Fi devices I want to get. 
get Wi-Fi devices and paid Wi-Fi devices. Get Wi-Fi devices and paid Wi-Fi devices. Get Wi-Fi devices and paid Wi-Fi devices. So I want to get the list of connected device list. I want to get paid Wi-Fi devices. Okay, so let's create a project. We get new project type. Okay, let's create a new project. Let's create a new project. I'm specifying the project name as Wi-Fi test is a project name I specified. So my requirement is first get the phone Wi-Fi state. If the phone Wi-Fi is in on, by default will display on will display here. If the phone Wi-Fi is off, by default will display off will display. And if user select the on button, switch on the Wi-Fi. And if user select the off button, switch off the Wi-Fi. So initially we had to show the Wi-Fi state we had to show. Then after that we can provide we can provide a permission to the user to change the Wi-Fi state. Okay. So project is created. First, let's open the XML file. So here we'll create a button called switch button component will create. Here we'll create one button called what? Switch button. Let's specify first thing is what? So Wi-Fi. So we created what? A switch button component we created. Then after that we'll create button will create. I want to get the list of available Wi-Fi devices. List I want to get. Get Wi-Fi devices. I want to get all the list of paid Wi-Fi devices list I want to get. So we created a switch button component we created. Here you can find a component called switch button. Okay. Which contains two states, on state and off state. Okay. Next we create two buttons we created. Let's see what is the one. Again names for this one. One is get, get Wi-Fi devices is one thing. Get the list of available Wi-Fi devices and get paid devices get Wi-Fi devices and get paid devices. Okay. So we created two buttons we created, get Wi-Fi devices and get paid Wi-Fi devices. 
get paid Wi-Fi devices. Now let's create these two methods. I mean, get Wi-Fi devices and get paid Wi-Fi devices. These two methods let's create in the Java file. We'll configure the on-click attribute. We'll configure get Wi-Fi devices and get paid Wi-Fi devices. So on-click is equals to on-click is equals to get Wi-Fi. Click is equals to get Wi-Fi devices and get paid Wi-Fi devices. On click is equals to get paid Wi-Fi devices. Get paid Wi-Fi devices. Get Wi-Fi devices and get paid Wi-Fi devices. Now we had to create these two methods: this get Wi-Fi devices and get paid Wi-Fi devices. So these two methods we had to create in the activity class. We had to create these two methods: get Wi-Fi devices and get paid Wi-Fi devices. Let's create these two methods in the activity class. Get Wi-Fi devices. What is another one? Get paid Wi-Fi devices. Get Wi-Fi devices and get paid Wi-Fi devices. Okay. So now here, so to work with Wi-Fi service, if you want to work, first of all, you have to get the built-in Wi-Fi service. We have to get into our activity class. We have to get right. So there is a method called get system service is a method. Specify the service name context dot Wi-Fi underscore service. Get system service context dot Wi-Fi underscore service. Application framework is providing a class called Wi-Fi manager to manage this Wi-Fi service. Application framework is providing a class called what? Wi-Fi manager to manage this Wi-Fi service. So globally, let's create the object for Wi-Fi manager class. Globally, let's create the object for Wi-Fi manager. Wi-Fi manager is equals to Wi-Fi manager of get system service context dot Wi-Fi service. So by using this statement, you'll get the built-in Wi-Fi service. You'll get into your activity class. You'll get right. And next in the XML file, we create a UI component called switch button component. We created. In the XML file, we create UI component called what? Switch button we created. Let's get that. Actually, is a switch button component here. R dot I dot switch one. Okay. And, uh, so we had to get the Wi-Fi state we had to get and that phone Wi-Fi state we had to update to the switch button we had to update. Meaning if the Wi-Fi is on by default we had to display, on we had to display. The Wi-Fi is off we had to display what? Off we had to display. Okay. So get the Wi-Fi state. So let's take, let's take an integer variable int state is equals to int state is equals to Wi-Fi manager dot there is a method called get Wi-Fi state is a method. Wi-Fi manager dot get Wi-Fi state is a method. Wi-Fi manager dot get Wi-Fi state is a method to get the object for what? To get the state, you'll get. You'll get the state, you'll get. Wi-Fi manager dot get Wi-Fi state. Okay. So if it is one or three, sorry. If it is, if i is double is equals to zero, meaning in a nothing but state. If state is double is equals to zero. If state is double is equals to zero, or meaning if it is either it's zero or it is one, meaning in a disabling state, right? If state is double is equals to zero or state is double is equals to one, okay. If it is zero or if it is one, then specify Wi-Fi manager dot switch button dot. There is a method called set checked of false. Meaning when when you'll get zero or one if it is in disabled state. If it is in a disabled state, then we'll get 
zero or one will get. So we have to update the switch button state. We have to update to off. We have to update switch button dot. There is a method called set checked off false. Meaning if the phone Wi-Fi is off by default, will display the switch button state also will display as off will display. Okay, and else if if state is double is equals to two or three. If state is double is equals to two or three, we have to enable this one. Switch button. Switch button dot set checked off what? True. If it is zero or one, so make it false. If it is either two or three, making it true and make it. Okay. Next. So we are getting the we are getting the Wi-Fi state we are getting, and based on that we are updating the switch button state we updated here. The phone Wi-Fi state we are getting based on that we are updating the switch button state we are updating. Now we have to do in a reverse. Meaning, if user select the on button, we have to switch on the Wi-Fi. We have to switch on the phone Wi-Fi. We have to switch on. If user select the off button, we have to switch off the Wi-Fi. We have to switch off the phone switch. Phone Wi-Fi. We have to switch off. Meaning, this switch button is having an event call. This switch button is having an event call. Check to change the event. Meaning, either user 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 will select the on button or user will select what off button. It's having an event call. Check to change the event. If you want to get that event, if you want to get, let's see here, switch button dot, there is a method called set on check to change listener. Set on check change listener. Okay, so whenever user update the whenever user update the user update the switch button, I mean either you selected on button or off button, it's going to call this listener, it's going to call switch button dot set on check to change listener. The input parameter for this one is nothing but object of the input parameter for this one is nothing but object of on check to change listener. What is the input parameter for this set on check to change listener? Object of on check to change listener. Object of on check to change listener is the input parameter. In this on check to change listener, whenever user select the on button on the switch button, it's going to call this on check to change method is going to be called. And whenever user select the off button, it's going to is it either is it on button or off button? It's going to call this method on check to change the method. Okay, so here the second parameter is what? It's a boolean type, right? Second parameter is what? Second parameter is a boolean type. This boolean type will will tell you whether user is selected the on button or user is selected the off button. This each check will tell you user is selected what? Either on or off. So based on this, we have to update the switch button state. We have to update if each check. If is check, if is check, we had to enable the Bluetooth. We had to, uh, we had to enable the Wi-Fi. We had to enable. How to enable the Wi-Fi? Wi-Fi manager dot set Wi-Fi enabled of true. Meaning, if user is selected the I mean user is selected the off button and switch button, let's specify Wi-Fi manager dot set Wi-Fi enabled of. So one thing is completed here. We are getting the Wi-Fi state. We are getting based on the Wi-Fi state. We are updating the switch button state. We are updating here, and based on the switch buttons, if user update the switch button state, and we are updating the phone Wi-Fi state also. We are updating. We are updating the. We are updating what phone Wi-Fi state also. We are updating. So now we'll write the logic for these get Wi-Fi devices. So once if you click the get Wi-Fi devices button, I want to get the list of available Wi-Fi devices list. I want to get. So for this. To get the list of available Wi-Fi devices, so Wi-Fi manager dot there is a method called what get get scan results is a method. Wi-Fi manager dot get scan results is a method. Return type of this method is nothing but list of scan result. Return type of this method is nothing but list of scan result is a return type. Let's call this method get scan results method. Wi-Fi manager dot get scan results. Return type of this method is nothing but what? It's what a list of list of Wi-Fi manager is a return type. List is equals to Wi-Fi manager dot get scan results is a method. Sorry. 
not Wi-Fi manager, list of scanned result. So list of scanned result, results is equals to Wi-Fi manager dot get scan results is a method. By using this statement, by using this statement, we can get the list of available Wi-Fi devices list we'll get. We don't know how many devices are available, right? Because and the return type of this method is nothing but list is a return type. List is a return type. We don't know how many values are available. So simply create a loop. So create on for each loop for scan result. Result of results. We are creating a for loop we are creating. So scan result is the input. Scan result of results. So now we'll display a toast message. We'll display the scan result data. We'll display in a toast message. First parameter is a context. Get application context, comma. Second parameter is nothing but the result object dot SSID. If you call SSID, if you call, you'll get the name of that. You'll get the name of that particular Wi-Fi device. You'll get name. You'll get the particular Wi-Fi device name. And Next result object of frequency. You'll get the signal strength you'll get. Okay. Just we are printing the name of that particular Wi-Fi device, which device is available, that Wi-Fi device name and its frequency, I mean signal strength we are displaying in a toast we are displaying. Okay. The third parameter is nothing but duration. So toast dot length underscore long dot short. Okay, so how many Wi-Fi devices are available? That many times this loop is going to be repeat, and that many toast messages will get. How many devices are available? That many times you get the toast message you'll get. Okay. This is how to get the list of all the available Wi-Fi devices. And if you want to know to your phone is connected to which Wi-Fi network and earlier to which devices it is connected, if you want to get that information, if you want to get there is a method called gets get configured networks is a method. So here here also return type is list, but here the class name is nothing but Wi-Fi. Configuration is a class. So config is equals to Wi-Fi manager dot there is a method called get configured networks is a method. Wi-Fi manager dot get configured networks is a method to get to get all the list of available Wi-Fi devices. Okay, so here also it it will find it's having the multiple multiple values so we'll put the logic we'll put into the for loop will put because we don't know how many uh, paid devices are available so you'll get the, that entire list you'll get okay let's specify the wi-fi configurations object wi-fi complex so wi-fi configuration And config colon context. I mean, how many configuration objects are there in the list? How many values are there in the list? That many times this for each loop is going to be what? Repeat. So, right here, config.ssid, you'll get the device name you'll get to which device it is connected. That device name you'll get here. And I told you that you cannot find the frequency, you cannot find in place of frequency, you can find a status you can find, meaning. You'll get all the list of paid devices you'll get to your phone is connected to which the Wi-Fi devices that list you'll get. Okay. And we don't know whether that device is your phone is connected to that particular device or not. To which device it is connected, the, the status will tell you to which phone your, your your device is connected now. Okay. So we are accessing the Wi-Fi state, changing the Wi-Fi state, we are accessing the, all the list of available Wi-Fi devices and to which device your your phone is connected now that Wi-Fi device information also we'll get. Okay, so now here we had to add a permission in the manifest.xml. If you want to work with Wi Fi, so we had to add a permission, we had to add in the manifest.xml, Android manifest.xml. Let's add a permission here like users' permission. One is access Wi Fi state, we are accessing the Wi Fi state we are accessing, and second thing is change Wi Fi state. access Wi-Fi state and change Wi-Fi state okay. because we are accessing as well as we are modifying the Wi-Fi state we are modifying 
So let's run the application. So let's see, are able to run or not? Earlier is shown some errors because we have not added the permissions, we have not added, but after adding the permissions, all the errors got removed. Okay, so now we'll test the application. Let's see. Give me a minute, I'll connect my phone and connect. Let's run the app. Let's run the app. And install the app in Samsung device. See here, and by default I got Wi-Fi state, I got on, I got by default because in my phone, in my phone Wi-Fi is in Wi-Fi is in an on state. Wi-Fi is in an on state, that's why we got by default, we got on, we got by default. Okay. And if you select this off if you select, so now if you update the switch button state, if you select to off if you select here, automatically it's going to it's going to switch off the Wi-Fi also, it's going to switch off. Okay. So once if you select this get get Wi-Fi devices. So once you select this get Wi-Fi devices button, you'll get the list of available Wi-Fi devices. For example, DB, D-Link DB for one is Wi-Fi network, Microsoft is on Wi-Fi network. So you'll get all the list of available Wi-Fi devices and its, and its signal strength also you'll get. 2447, 2447. So two, Five seven four five. So we are getting the signal strength. Also, we are getting here. Okay. So what's available device name and its signal strength. And if you select this get get paid Wi-Fi devices, meaning your phone is connected to how many Wi-Fi devices that Wi-Fi list you will get. As well as you will get that uh, right now your phone is connected to which Wi-Fi network. Even that information also will get. So click on this get paid Wi-Fi devices. Click on what get paid Wi-Fi devices. So there is a network called Mahesh Royal and I'm getting the status as 2, Lexicon work 2. Meaning your phone is connected to these Wi-Fi devices, the phone is connected. And to right now, to which device it is connected, for that device you'll get the status as 0, you'll get. See, but dealing DB4, we got the status as 0, we got. Meaning my phone is connected to that particular Wi-Fi network, it is connected. Dealing DB4 network, it is connected. Okay, you'll get all the list of your phone, the paid devices, your phone is connected to how many Wi-Fi devices, that list you will get. And you will get to which device you, you are connected now, that information also we are getting. By using this, Wi-Fi manager dot, what is the method name? Get, get configured networks is a method. Okay, so this is about the Wi-Fi. Uh, apart from this, you will not get any, uh, get any 
or create requirements like hardly you know just check check the user wi fi is enabled or not if it is disabled automatically enable that bluetooth or to show you information which wi fi device you are connected now okay so basically apart from this you will not get any uh, great requirements in case of wi fi okay so next we'll discuss bluetooth we'll discuss next we'll discuss what bluetooth Next, we'll discuss a Bluetooth service. We'll discuss. Let's put a heading Bluetooth. Okay. So in Android, there are different ways to manage the Bluetooth. In Android, there are different ways to manage. In Android, there are different ways to manage Bluetooth. One of the best approaches. One of the best approach is manage Bluetooth. In Android, there are different ways. In Android, there are different ways to manage Bluetooth. Different ways to manage the Bluetooth. One of the best approaches, one of the best approaches, manage Bluetooth using Bluetooth adapter. Manage Bluetooth using what? Bluetooth adapter. Manage Bluetooth using what Bluetooth adapter. So if you want to get this Bluetooth adapter object, if you want to get, if you want to get the Bluetooth adapter object, if you want to get, so Bluetooth adapter is equals to, so Bluetooth adapter dot get default adapter is a method. There is a static method called Bluetooth adapter dot. There is a method called get default adapter is a method. Bluetooth adapter is equals to Bluetooth adapter dot get default adapter is a method. Get default. Get default adapter is a method to get the object for Bluetooth adapter class. Bluetooth adapter is equals to Bluetooth adapter dot get default adapter is a method. Get default adapter is a method to get the object for which class Bluetooth adapter class to get the object for Bluetooth adapter. And if you want to know the Bluetooth state, if you want to know, if you want to know the Bluetooth state, if you want to know. Bluetooth adapter object dot Bluetooth adapter object dot there is a method called is enable is a method Bluetooth adapter object dot there is a method called what is enable is a method Bluetooth adapter object dot is enable is a method this method method is used to get the Bluetooth state method is used to get the Bluetooth state Bluetooth adapter object dot is enable is a method is used to get the Bluetooth state. Like if you want to know whether Bluetooth is enable or disable, we use this is enable method. So return type of this method is nothing but it's a Boolean type. Boolean type is a return type of this method. So if you want to enable or disable the Bluetooth, so Bluetooth adapter object dot enable is a method. Bluetooth adapter object dot enable is a method to enable the Bluetooth. Bluetooth adapter object dot enable or so Bluetooth adapter object dot disable or the methods disable methods is used to change the Bluetooth state methods is used to change what methods is used to change the Bluetooth state Bluetooth adapter object dot enable or disable methods is used to change what is used to change the Bluetooth state okay and so if you want to get the list of available Bluetooth devices, we've seen how to access the Bluetooth state and how to enable and disable the Bluetooth state. To get the list of available Bluetooth devices, to get, to get the list of available Bluetooth devices, to get the list of available Bluetooth devices, so we have to configure we have to configure a broadcast receiver, we have to configure to, to get the list of available. Bluetooth devices, we have to configure a broadcast receiver. To get the list of available Bluetooth devices, we have to configure a broadcast receiver. We had to configure. So we had to configure what? A broadcast receiver we had to configure. Okay. So let's see. Uh, 
So how, to, how what is the broadcast server we have to configure to get the list of available Bluetooth devices? So how we'll configure the broadcast server? First, we'll, we'll, we'll configure the intent filter we'll configure for which events you want to get the announcement. Let's configure the intent filter first. Intent filter is equals to new intent filter. I should only discuss this broadcast receiver concept to discuss, which is used to get the system announcements. Even the even the Bluetooth device found. A new Bluetooth device is found, even that is also nothing but broadcast receiver only. Okay. So before going to start searching for the devices, to get the list of available Bluetooth devices, we had to configure a broadcast receiver we had to configure. Before going, before going to configure the broadcast receiver, first in your activity class, first we had to write a statement called Bluetooth adapter dot start discovery is a method. Bluetooth adapter dot what is a method mean? Start discovery is a method. Meaning we are specifying start searching for the devices. Start searching for the Bluetooth devices. Bluetooth adapter dot start discovery is a method. To start searching for the Bluetooth devices. If any Bluetooth device is found, okay, intent filter is equals to new intent filter. Intent filter object dot add action is a method. Intent intent filter object dot add action is a method. Let's specify here Bluetooth device dot Bluetooth device dot. Bluetooth device dot there is a statement called extra underscore font. Some some statement is there. Bluetooth device dot. Let me check it once. Action underscore font. Bluetooth device dot action underscore one. So first we had to configure a broadcast server. We had to configure here Bluetooth dot Bluetooth device dot action underscore form. Meaning we are specifying you now start searching for the Bluetooth devices. Start searching for what Bluetooth devices? Start discovery. If any Bluetooth device is found, so Bluetooth device dot action underscore form. If any Bluetooth device is found, okay. So here. We'll, conf we'll, we'll configure this one, we'll configure it. Register receiver is a method. Re register receiver is a method. We had to specify the object of broadcast receiver class object we had to specify. First parameter is what? I should only discuss, right? Broadcast receivers. Object of your broadcast receiver class we had to specify. And second parameter is nothing but what? Intent filter. Object of broadcast receiver is the first parameter. Second parameter is what? Intent filter object will specify in the second parameter. Okay. So if any new Bluetooth device is found, if any new Bluetooth device is found, it will invoke on receive method. It will invoke on on receive method in broadcast receiver class. If any Bluetooth device is found, if any new Bluetooth device is found, it will invoke what on receive method in the broadcast receiver. So in the on receive method, because broadcast receiver contains a method called on receive is abstract method. So now in that on receive method, get the Bluetooth device. Get the Bluetooth device. Device is equals to Bluetooth device. Device is equals to there is a method called on receive method is there, right? So in this on receive method, you will get the input parameter as you will get as intent is the input parameter. One of the input parameters is nothing but what intent object is one of the input parameter. Intent object dot here just remember I means intent object. Or you can specify in the on receive method inside the on receive method the intent object dot there is a method called get parsable extra is a method get parsable extra is a method get parsable extra is a method so we had to specify that device name we had to specify intent object dot get parsable extra is a method bluetooth device dot bluetooth 
bluetooth device dot extra underscore device okay if any if any bluetooth device is found it's going to call the broadcast receiver it's going to call okay so now with the help of in the inside the broadcast receiver on receive method whatever the device is whatever the device is found so we are getting that device information we are getting here bluetooth device device is equals to one of the input parameter for this on receive method is nothing but intent object so intent object dot get parsable extra of bluetooth device dot extra underscore device okay so once if we get a bluetooth device once if we get so let's call device dot there is a method called get name is a method so you'll get the bluetooth device name you'll get and device dot there is a method called get address is a method so you'll get the device address you'll get the bluetooth device address you'll get okay so now we'll create a simple application we'll create for demonstrating this uh, bluetooth service and we'll discuss the last one also that is a vibrator service and if you want to vibrate it vibrate a device for a few seconds then we use this vibrator service we use okay so here there is a class called vibrator is a class and before vibrator if you want to access bluetooth if you want to access we had to specify two permissions we had to specify to access a bluetooth one is one is bluetooth is one permission we had to specify because we are accessing the bluetooth bluetooth state we are accessing so we had to add the bluetooth bluetooth permission we had to add one thing is we had to add the bluetooth permission and one more thing we had to add the bluetooth underscore admin permission we had to add so these two permissions these two permissions we had to add in manifest.xml bluetooth and bluetooth underscore admin these two permissions we had to add in manifest.xml file let's see vibrator so if you want to get the vibrator service vibrator v is equals to vibrator of get system service vibrator is equals to vibrator of get system service context dot vibrator v is equals to vibrator of get system service context to dot vibrator underscore service to get the to get the built-in vibrator service into our activity class so vibrator is equals to vibrator of get system service of vibrator service and this vibrator class contains a method called this vibrator class contains a method called vibrate is a method vibrator vibrator class object contains a method called what vibrator is vibrate is a method so we had to specify milliseconds had to specify here how many seconds you want to vibrate for the device you had to specify that milliseconds you had to specify you know you want to vibrate the device for 10 seconds or 20 seconds how many seconds you want to vibrate for the device vibrate the device just specify the time interval here so, but if you want to vibrate the device we had to add a permission we had to add in manifest.xml we had to add a permission we had to add in manifest.xml that is a vibrate permission we had to add in manifest.xml so if you add this vibrate permission then only it will vibrate the device otherwise it will not vibrate the device okay. so now what we'll do is in the same application you know in a last last example wi-fi example only now we'll add we'll add two more controls we'll add here we'll create one more switch button we'll create we'll create one more switch button we'll create called bluetooth we'll create what one more switch button for bluetooth same thing on and off we'll create one more switch button on and off so user can update this uh, switch button state user can update either on button or off button user can update the switch button state the user can update and if you want to get the list of available uh, bluetooth devices if you want to get if you want to get the list of available bluetooth devices just create a button get bt devices is a method get bt devices to get the list of available bluetooth devices get bt device is a button to get the list of available bluetooth devices and we create one more button we'll create called vibrate we'll create one more button for what vibrate is a one more button so whenever user clicks the vibrate button i want to vibrate the device for a few seconds i want to vibrate the device okay. is a requirement okay now here 
So first we'll add that a new UI will add in the XML file. We need one more switch button we required. So we got a rendering issue. So create uh, three more controls we'll create here. So we'll create one more switch button we'll create for Bluetooth. So we created a switch button we created. We created a switch button we created. Next after that we had to create two more buttons we had to create one is get BT devices and vibrate. Let's configure the click event get BT devices and vibrate. Get BT devices and vibrate. So we had to create these two methods. I mean this get BT devices and this vibrate these two methods we had to create in the XML file, you had to create these two methods. We created a second switch button component, we created switch to get PD devices. Let's configure the click event for this get PD devices. On click is equals to get PD devices. Android colon on click is equals to get PD devices. And we had to create on click is equals to vibrate. So we created one more switch button, switch button two component we created, switch two. We created two buttons we created, get BT devices and vibrate. And we even we configured the click event also we configured, get BT devices and vibrate. So these methods we had to configure in the activity file we had to configure these methods, public void. One is get BT devices, a view object is the input parameter for this. And one more thing is what? Vibrate. Okay, so before this, before going, before getting the list of available Bluetooth devices and vibrate. So here in the XML file, we created one more switch button component. We created in the XML that is switch button two component. Okay, and globally for working with Bluetooth, for working with Bluetooth, there is a class called Bluetooth adapter is a class. So globally, I'm creating a variable. I'm creating for Bluetooth adapter. Globally, I'm creating a variable for Bluetooth adapter class. I'm creating a variable globally. In the onCreate method, in the onCreate method, after initializing this Wi-Fi manager, initializing this Wi-Fi manager, let's initialize the object for Bluetooth adapter. Bluetooth adapter is equals to Bluetooth adapter dot Bluetooth adapter dot get default adapter is the method. Bluetooth adapter is equals to Bluetooth adapter dot get default adapter is the method get default adapter is a method to get the object for what bluetooth adapter to get the object for bluetooth adapter so if you want to get the bluetooth state if you want to get after this switch button one if you want to get the bluetooth state if you want to get so bluetooth adapter dot what is the method name ease enable is a method ease enable is a method so it's going to return the boolean type either it's on or off so directly what we'll do is this this method Bluetooth adapter dot is enable method directly will set as an input parameter to switch button two components. Switch two dot set check is a method. Switch button two dot set check is a method. Set check is a method. Bluetooth adapter dot is enable. Switch button two dot set check is a method. Bluetooth adapter object dot is enable. So directly we'll get true or false. We'll get from the switch word, uh, from the phone Bluetooth directly. We are giving as an input parameter to switch button two component directly we are setting. So if it is true, by default it will display, true it will display, on it will display. The Bluetooth adapter is false, then by default you will get, off you will get, okay. Next. For example, if user update the switch button state, then if user update the switch button state, so here switch button two dot, there is an event called on checker change listener. Switch button is having an event called what? Check to change the event. So let's configure the listener. Set on check to change the listener. On check to change the listener. Set on check to change the listener. The input parameter for this. The input
the input parameter for this method is nothing but object of on checked change listener that is input parameter for this object of on checked change listener then if user updates the if user update the switch button either on or off is going to call this method see the second parameter is a boolean type this each check will tell you this each check will tell you whether user selected the on button or off button if if each check if each check meaning if user is selected the on button we have to enable the bluetooth right how will enable the bluetooth bluetooth adapter dot bluetooth adapter dot enable is a method to enable the bluetooth okay so else bluetooth adapter object dot disable is a method to disable the bluetooth bluetooth adapter object dot enable is a method to enable the bluetooth disable is a method to disable the bluetooth okay one thing is done we are we are getting the bluetooth state we are getting based on the bluetooth state we are updating the switch button state we are updating next if user updates a if user updates a state on the switch button if user update the state on the switch button we are updating the phone bluetooth also we are updating to either on but on or off we are updating the phone bluetooth state we are updating okay and whenever user select the get bt devices button whenever user select the get bt devices button it's going to call this method it's going to call in this method we had to write the logic to get the list of available bluetooth devices right so for this we had to configure a broadcast receiver we had to configure whenever a new bluetooth device is found it's going to call that broadcast receiver is going to call but before that first what we had to do is we had to specify start searching for the bluetooth devices how we will specify that one to start search for the bluetooth devices bluetooth adapter dot there is a method called start discovery is a method start discovery is a method to start searching for the bluetooth devices bluetooth adapter dot start discovery is a method to start searching for the bluetooth devices okay next So it's going to start searching for the Bluetooth devices. If any device is found, we had to get that announcement we had to get. For this, what we had to do is we had to configure the intent filter we had to configure. We had to configure what? The intent filter we had to configure. Intent filter is equals to new intent filter. Intent filter is equals to what? New intent filter. The intent filter object or there is a method called add action is a method intent filter object dot add action is a method so here let's specify bluetooth device dot bluetooth device dot action underscore form bluetooth device dot what action underscore form next what we had to specify register receiver is a method register receiver first parameter is the object of your broadcast receiver class First parameter is what the object of your broadcast receiver class and second parameter is the intent filter object object of broadcast receiver class second parameter is the intent filter object so what is the first parameter now object of broadcast receiver class so we had to create one broadcast receiver class we had to create so here within this main activity i'm creating a class i'm creating class render class on this i'm creating class my receiver extends what extends broadcast receiver extends broadcast receiver it's an abstract class this broadcast receiver is abstract class which contains an abstract method called on receive is about abstract method so we had to provide the implementation we had to provide for the on receive method we had to provide the implementation okay so here first parameter we had to specify the object of your broadcast receiver class object had to specify first parameter we had to specify the object of broadcast receiver class name so new what is your class name my my receiver is a class name. new my receiver object of your broadcast receiver class and second parameter is the intent filter object if any one of these configured event meaning if this event is happened meaning this action underscore found bluetooth device dot action underscore found if any if any bluetooth device is found if any bluetooth device is found it's going to call this on receive method is going to call it's going to call what on receive method will be called in this on receive method and this on receive method so here this intent object contains the data which device is found okay so get that 
get the Bluetooth device from the intent object. Get the Bluetooth device from the intent object. Bluetooth device is equals to intent object. Or there is a method called get parsable extra is a method. Bluetooth device device is equals to what? Intent object dot get parsable extra is a method. So Bluetooth device dot Bluetooth device dot extra underscore device. Okay. So by using this statement, by using this statement, whatever the device is found. By using the statement intent dot get parsable extra of Bluetooth device dot extra underscore device. By using the statement, whatever the device is found while it starts searching, while it is searching for the Bluetooth devices, we are getting the device information we are getting. We are getting the Bluetooth device object we are getting. Okay. So now here, so we'll display the device name and its name will display in a toast message like uh, toast dot make text is a method using get application context comma device there is a method called get name is a method so you'll get the device name you'll get okay and if you want to get the device address if you want to get device dot there is a method called get address is a method so that you'll get the, the bluetooth device name and its address we are getting and call length underscore long dot show is the method so whatever the device is found whatever the device is found we are displaying the device information we are displaying in a toast message we are displaying the device information Okay, so we can't create a broadcast receiver. If any device is found, it's going to call the a broadcast receiver. It's going to call. Okay, so whenever user select the vibrate button, whenever user select the vibrate button, we have to uh, you know vibrate the device. Let's create the object for vibrator class. Let's create the object for vibrator class. Vibrator is equals to vibrator of get system service context to dot. context dot vibrator underscore service vibrator is equals to vibrator of get system service context dot vibrator underscore service we are getting the vibrator service we are getting into our activity class this vibrator class object contains a method called vibrate is a method so vibrator object contains a method called what vibrate is a method specify the milliseconds how many seconds you want to vibrate the device? You had to specify the time interval. You had to specify vibrator dot vibrate of. I specified ten thousand. I specified meaning I want to vibrate the device for ten thousand seconds. I want to vibrate the device. I want to vibrate the device for ten thousand milliseconds. Ten thousand milliseconds means how many seconds? Ten seconds. I want to vibrate the device. Okay. So in the manifest XML, we had to add two permissions. We had to add one is what. We are accessing vibrator. We are accessing Bluetooth. We are accessing. So we had to add these permissions. We had to add in manifest.xml. One is we are accessing the Bluetooth. We are accessing. So let's specify the Bluetooth permission. And another thing is a Bluetooth underscore admin is one thing. By using Bluetooth only, we can access the Bluetooth state. But we cannot modify the Bluetooth state. We cannot modify. So Bluetooth underscore admin is another thing to modify the Bluetooth. And another thing is what. Vibrator. So we are using the vibrator service we are using. Let's add this vibrate permission in manifest.xml. Okay, so these are the permissions we have to add in manifest.xml. So now let's run the application and see are we able to uh, get the nearby Bluetooth devices or not. Let's run the app. In my phone, Bluetooth is in an off state. So by default, it has to display off. It has to display by default. I got the exception. Mm. 
be some problem with the user interface design i guess Opening the project again, Wi-Fi test. So here I got some exception. I got caused by Java dot lang dot null pointer exception in the on create method. Main activity at sixty six. Oh, uh, we have not enabled the switch button component. We have not enabled that. I mean, we have not initialized the switch button two components. Just globally we declared a variable. We declared and directly we are accessing. We have not initialized this. Switch button two component we are not initialized. Two is equals to switch off. Find v by id of r dot r dot id dot switch button two component. Okay, let's run the code now. See now I got by default I got off I get I got by default because in my phone Bluetooth is in off state that's why I got by default I got off I got okay if I select the on button here if you want to see you can see here see the phone blue the phone Bluetooth stays in off state but if you see here after this screen rotation you can find Bluetooth is in off state right so whenever you select the on button so whenever you select the on button in our application see now the bluetooth is enabled now the bluetooth is what bluetooth is enabled here now bluetooth is enabled so you now once if the bluetooth is enabled then you can start searching for the devices see i'm selecting this get bt device i'm selected i selected when it will start searching for the bluetooth devices I start searching for the bluetooth devices if any device is found, then we'll, we'll, we'll display that. We'll display the device name to display in a toast. Anjay sir. So now I don't have any devices, nearby devices. That's why. So there is no any av nearby available Bluetooth devices are not available. That's why I'm, I'm, I'm unable to get this, that Bluetooth information we are unable to get because there is no any, I mean, so here I don't have any devices to switch on the Bluetooth also. Okay. Okay. Anyway, if, when, will you, if you are practicing while well, you're practicing, definitely once, you know, take a switch on some or two, one or two devices, nearby devices, Bluetooth devices. And once if you select this get, get BT devices button start searching for the device if any device is found it will display the device name to display in a toast message will display okay the last thing is nothing but vibrator so even this vibrator also i cannot show the output right okay it's going to vibrate the device for a few seconds if you want uh, i'll try but <laughs> It's vibrating the device for 10 seconds it is vibrating the device i hope of course you cannot see graphically we cannot see any preview output you cannot see here okay it is vibrated the device for 10 seconds it is vibrated the device okay this is about the built-in services in android okay so this wi-fi notification sensor okay, bluetooth and vibrator these are the six major built-in services in android okay so any queries in this let me know if you have any queries